A common pressure vessel, as shown here, has a fiberglass shell and contains six spiral wound RO elements. Spiral wound elements can range in size from 2 to 12 inches in diameter and 12 to over 40 inches in length. A very common size that is used for industrial water purification is an element which is 8 inches in diameter by 40 inches in length. When six elements are placed in a pressure vessel, male couplers connect the product tube in each element to the product tube of the next element. This interconnection allows permeate from all elements to exit the pressure vessel in either direction. Typically, one end of the pressure vessel's product tube is capped while the other is open to allow product water to exit. The couplers generally have double O-rings on each side. These O-rings on the couplers are used to prevent higher pressure feed water from passing into the product tube, thus contaminating the product water. Each element has a brine seal placed in the groove located on the outside of the anti-telescoping cap. It is critical that this brine seal always be placed on the feed water inlet side of the element and that the seal open in the direction of the feed water. This seal prevents feed water from going around the element rather than through it. Both the inlet and outlet side of the pressure vessel use an adapter. On the inlet side of the pressure vessel shown, an adapter with O-rings fits onto the product tube of the first element. The permeate port adapter fits onto the main adapter. A sealing plate with an O-ring and the bearing plate fit over the permeate port adapter. A locking ring set that fits into a slot on the inside of the pressure vessel is used to hold these plates in place and a securing ring and screws are used to hold the locking ring set in place. The feed water port fits through the sealing plate to reach the cavity between the sealing plate and the first element. A port nut and permeate port end plug complete the inlet side assembly. The outlet side of the pressure vessel is identical in construction with the exception of a thrust collar. The thrust collar is used to protect against the tremendous pressure which otherwise would be totally loaded on the end adapter. To appreciate the pressure that the thrust collar must endure, consider a pressure vessel where each of the six elements has a differential feed water pressure of 10 psi. The resulting 60 psi of differential would be multiplied by the element's surface area of approximately 50 square inches to obtain the total force exerted, which would be approximately 3,000 pounds at the end adapter.